Okay, so you got yourself a splinter cell, right? And you install it on your Xbox One X, and you want to play this classic game on your big 4K TV that you bought, but you're like, wait a minute, what is this? Well, what you're seeing here, it's two vertical black bars that go from top to bottom. Well, the reason you have those vertical bars it's because back then in 2002, there was no widescreen televisions. Widescreen televisions came later on, okay? So, when this game was released in 2002 on the original Xbox, all we had on our television, all we had was 4x3. That's what we were playing on, 4x3. Now, fast forward later, 18 years later, Things have changed <laughs> dramatically. A lot has changed. 16 by 9 widescreen, high resolution, HDR, etc., etc., etc. So, but Mr. 4K, what what should we do here? What can we do here? Relax. There's still some help. I'm gonna do what I do best, and I'm gonna do what I do best, and that is to help you guys out. This is first for Samsung Q8FN. I'm going to do OLED later on, but first I'm going to start with a Samsung Q8FN. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's start with Samsung Q8FN. This is a Samsung QLED Q8FN, and I highly recommend this TV for the Xbox One X due to the game mode features and 120 hertz refresh rate etc etc it's a great tv for the xbox one x so what do we do here all right sam fisher all right everybody first you're gonna need the remote control i hope you have a remote control okay go to the settings where it says settings click on it where it says picture move right scroll down where it says picture size settings normally is going to say 16 by 9 okay usually what is going to happen is you're going to have fit to screen and 16 by 9 okay you're going to have this this is what's going to show up okay let me tell you what, let me let me show you what's going to show up this is what you're going to have when you switch here to picture size settings, it's going to say 16 by 9, and you're going to be like, well, what, what should I do? Is this locked in? I can't change this. Yes, you can change it. Look on your right. What does that say? Configure the picture size settings. Picture size and fit the screen. And zoom in position. So, click on it. Make sure, make sure that you turn off the fit to screen, turn it off. And then go to the uh, picture size where it says 16 by 9. And click down where it says custom. Click on custom. And then move down to where it says zoom and position. Now, a couple of things I want to say. Uh, this game it's already upscaled to 4K, so you are not really uh, stretching too much here. There's going to be a little bit of stretching, but it's not going to be too much of stretching. It's not going to be like 32 by 9 ratio that everything is stretched, okay? Trust me, this works. So what you need to do is you need to come down here, click on this first square on the top left, you see that square? Keep clicking on it. Keep clicking on it. Keep clicking on it. Till you get to 34. And then select close. That's all you have to do. Don't mess around with the position and don't use the zoom. Don't use the zoom. Only use this top top left square you see this top left square 
that top left square needs to go all the way to plus 34. And then select close and make sure to turn off fit to screen. Turn that sucker off and voila. Now you got yourself a splinter cell, splinter cell in full screen. And it's not stretched out. I know you guys say, oh, maybe it looks too stretched out. Believe me, it's not. Wait till you see this. You can thank me later. Trust me. You can thank me later. After. Not, not right now. You don't have to thank me right now. You can thank me tomorrow or whatever, whenever you get a chance. But once you see this, once you use this, you will see that, hey, I'm getting back into the Xbox One days. You know, back in 2002. Now we're going back in time. Now we get to play this game in full screen. And you can do this with all of these games. Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, all of these other games that have 4x3, all these other classic games like Metal Gear. That's how I did Metal Gear full screen on the OLED. This is the trick I used. But you have to go through different types of settings on the OLED to do that, which I will have separate video for you guys on that pretty soon. I can show you how to do it on TCL. I can show you how to do it on Sony. I can show you how to do it on Samsung KS8000. It's really not a big deal. I can do that. So that's it. And now you got Splinter Cell the way it should be. All right. And it looks amazing. There it is. This is upscaled to 4K. All right. And it looks great. It really does. Now you get to play this game the way it was meant to be played. The way we remembered it to be played. And I know you guys want to play this game like this. Nobody wants to play Splinter Cell with that uh, squeezed vertical, <laughs> vertical thing. All right. Oh no, I got caught by camera. Ah well. Ah well. I probably forgot about that. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. And um, it looks great. This is in 4K. You know, it's upscaled to 4K. I don't want you guys to think that I'm like. Uh, pushing some uh, tricks over here, as you will see right here. You see, 3840 by 2160 FreeSync, 60 hertz. There it is, Xbox One X. You know, you know, you know what, man? I don't mean to. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but the amount of videos that I have done for the Xbox and for the Microsoft. You think by now Microsoft would have given me something, at least a a free code for a free game or something, you know, just something. You think by now they would have done that? Ah well. That's all right. But you can see now, now you have that feeling of, I mean, look, the whole point of playing it on a big screen is for you to, to, to play it on a big screen. And, and that's how you should play it. You should play it on a big screen like this, in a full screen. And it brings back memories, dude. It's awesome. Uh, let's make sure that we uh, don't alert the camera. The camera. There's the camera. Can we shoot it from here? I think we could. I think we could. Let's see. No, nah, we can't. All right, let, let's play it safe. 
Let's play it safe. Let's take care of this geezer. <laughs> anyway, I have to start again. Uh, my checkpoint was uh, screwed up. So, there you have it, guys. Uh, it looks great. Now you can play it in a full screen. Remember, uh, the, the important thing is for you guys to uh, use those custom settings, which I have shown you right here. Okay, and uh, they're right here. So remember, you go to your settings, where it says picture, turn right, go to where it says picture size settings, select the custom, make sure you turn off fit to screen, turn that sucker off, and then come down to the zoom in position, click on it, and only use the one on the, on the top left, okay? You only use this one. This is the one you need to use. This one right here. See where my finger is? The one on the top left. And keep clicking it till you hit plus 34. And leave it there at plus 34. Don't touch anything else. Don't use the zoom. Don't use none of that crap. Just use the one on the top left where it says zoom and click plus 34. Okay, this what it basically does, it brings the picture in a little bit. So it looks like a full screen, like like a full screen fit to screen. So that's what you need to do. And if you use this, you will see. I mean, right now looking at it through the video, it's kind of, it's kind of going to be difficult for you to see that, but trust me, once you use these settings where it says +34 you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, nothing is stretched out. Believe me, it looks, it, it looks as if you are playing on a full screen Xbox game from 2002. And it's a much better experience, okay? It's just a much, much better experience. It looks better, it plays better, and it reminds you just how cool it is. It also reminds you just how awesome this game is. This game is enhanced, and it also looks very uh, sharp on the 4K. So I think this is the reason why you might want to go with the Xbox One X to enjoy these old classic games. And Samsung Q8FN, uh, I highly recommend Samsung Q8FN for the Xbox One X. Somebody asked me yesterday, what about Samsung Q8FN for Xbox Scarlet? Dude, if you have Samsung Q8 FN, you're good for the Scarlet. Save some money and get yourself a Scarlet uh, next holiday. 8K, it's not there yet. You're not going to be playing native 8K games. No developer is going to be able to utilize that next year or the year after. Maybe in 2026 or in 2020, 2026, maybe you're going to see some 8K gaming truly take some form it's going to take a while maybe 2025 2026 you're going to start seeing some native 8k games but guys we barely we're barely out of the water on a 4k we dude we're still broadcasting in in, in 1080p <laughs> so come on guys we're not there yet with the 8k Yes, it looks nice when you go to see it in Best Buy. It looks nice when you go to see it in person because they're showing you a footage that was recorded with an 8K red camera and then it's natively being portrayed on that television. But not everything's going to look that great to what you're seeing on a display in a Best Buy or a Magnolia that's in the Best Buy. Okay? Those, those are the sales gimmicks, okay? The guy in the blue shirt, his job is to sell you. 
His job is to sell you that TV. And he's going to say whatever he needs to say to sell you that TV. That's his job. My job is not to sell you a TV. I don't, I don't wear any colors of shirts. I don't have any brands on my shirts. I belong to no one. I'm just here to give you my opinions and try to help you out a little bit. That's it. So there you go. I hope you guys like this video. Go ahead, check it out, use these settings, and uh, trust me, it's going to work. It's going to work. You can thank me later, but make sure you do it. Okay, before we end the video, in case you missed it, go to your settings, move right where it says picture mode, where it says picture size settings, select the custom instead of 16 by 9, turn off fit to screen you have to turn this off once you turn this off then go down to the zoom in position and at the top left corner keep clicking just keep clicking till you get to plus 34 and there you go voila you're good to go well there you have it so i hope you guys uh like this video i do this for you guys to help you out all right Take care. I'll see you guys soon. I'll try to do the same thing for the OLED. I know you guys want to see how you do this on the OLED. So I'll do that video probably tomorrow. And I know you guys want to see how you do it on a KS8000. Uh, it's pretty much a, a, a similar principle, but there's different shortcuts you have to take to do that. Because there are different TVs, different manufacturers, different user interfaces, and everything's different. So it's a different approach you have to take, but it's a similar principle. All right, it's kind of like you, like you, like uh, like cropping and and zooming. It's what you basically are doing. All right. So well, there you have it. Thank you for watching, guys. Cheers.